Hello and welcome back Supermums. In today's video we're going to be discussing why you need to have a home for everything within your home if you want to keep things tidy. So it was Benjamin Franklin that once said, a place for everything and everything in its place. And this statement couldn't be more true when it comes to keeping things tidy. Once you've got through the phases of decluttering and organising, it's really important to make sure that everything has a home and that's the home it's constantly returned to. One of my tricks for doing this is thinking about where you finish using an item. Now, in some cases, this would mean completely rearranging, rebuilding the internals of your house or home, which isn't necessarily particularly realistic. Because in an ideal world, where you wash your clothes would be where you would keep your clothes because then you can put them straight away. That is where we fall down with returning things to their homes. It's quite often we finish using them in a completely different part of the house to where they then need to go. You need to make it as easy as possible. So really think about not where you want to get the item out, because when you need an item, you'll go and get it. But when it comes to putting an item away, you're likely to just discard it where you are. So that's one of the ones to think through. You don't want to think through about making it as easy as possible to get your family involved. So really make sure you're very consistent and they should start to follow too. This might mean in the short term doing some labels, labeling the places where things go. If your kids aren't of reading age or your partner's a bit lazy, maybe some pictures. <laughs> Stick on a picture of some socks and then they know that that's where the socks go. Stick on some pictures of shoes, that's when the shoes go. Stick on a picture of a coat, that's where the coat goes. And this will help to start getting your family into like a pattern for returning things to where they belong. A home for everything and everything in its home. So this harks back to the importance of decluttering. You need to declutter first. There is no point wasting loads of time finding a home for everything to realise that half of it you want to get rid of. So make sure you have decluttered first. Make sure you've watched the other videos in this series that really focus in on the decluttering side of things. Make sure you've got rid of everything you're getting rid of before you find a home for everything. And you'll find it's a lot easier to find those homes once the bad stuff is gone. One of the biggest problems I hear people say when it comes to keeping the house tidy is the fact you live with other people. But short of moving out to a one bedroom flat on your own and leaving your family to fend for themselves, you're kind of stuck with them. We love them, so we accept them. But the easiest way to get them to change their habits is just to be really strict with yourself. If they see that you're really making an effort and that you're constantly doing things, they will naturally start to mimic what you do like there's actual science behind that you will get like the odd like obnoxious person that will really push themselves to not make helpful changes which is just a bit ridiculous but eventually with time the best way to get someone else to change habits is for them to, they'll sort of like copy you so it's for you to really stick to what you think is important and eventually you'll find them jumping on board i have seen this work a lot I have had this work with me when I haven't even tried it. I found friends picking up habits that I've like purposely gone after and then suddenly they're doing them too, which is really nice because then we can all discuss what it is we're now learning or the we have extra spare time because we've now got this new productive habit. Um, so it's really helpful in your day-to-day -day life. And like I said, I've seen it happen when I haven't meant it to. I've never had to do this to get someone to do what I want them to do, which is quite nice. Because that kind of sounds a bit manipulative when I say it like that. But when it comes to your kids, I feel like that's okay. <laughs> when it's manipulating them to help you keep your home tidy and teaching them a good habit, I feel like I'm gonna say that that's fine. <laughs> so while in the short term, it might involve some labeling of places. You kind of wanna be edging towards not having labels. I used to have a label maker, I'm a big fan of labels, but I often find that it's this more it's more of a barrage of words. And if you're trying to create like a relaxing environment, having words shouting at you everywhere is a really good way of not achieving that. I saw I've seen it now in quite a few like YouTube videos in particular where they've got bookshelves maybe in their background and they don't want to necessarily show you what books they read. Um, but some people do it just for the calmness factor as they turn around to the spine, the bare spine, where the, not the spine, the, where the pages are. The page edge shows instead of like the spine of the actual book. And it's less words shouting at you. It's less sort of like, 
when there are words, your, your brain is constantly trying to read and digest them and do something, whereas if it's like flat and plain and smooth, it's so much like nicer for your brain and your mind, it's time to like cope with anything. So, once the, the labels get worn, take them off, once they've fallen off, great. Once you're finding that people don't really need the labels, then just let them kind of go by the wayside, because I think in the long term, you should be trying to do it without labels. So thank you for watching. I really hope you're finding this whole like series on tidy really helpful. It'd be great to hear some of your success stories down in the comments below. I really look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.